uh, whereby people have to work in order to get any benefit. And perhaps if they had to work for their benefits, they choose to work for themselves and not rely on the state. It's an idea that's been around for some time. Workfare has reduced the number of benefit claimants in the US, but here some find the idea unacceptable. Work can be a good route out of poverty for families and children, but they've got to be good jobs at decent rates of pay. All the evidence from the US says that workfare, which pushes people to take any job, actually worsens child poverty because it means parents end up in low-paid work or no work. The government says it's looked at other countries, but has no plan to change the system fundamentally, insisting it must provide support to those that need it. But is it always a question of need? Maybe my next destination holds the answer. Liverpool's had a hard time over the years, but next year's European capital of culture is now booming. So, with lots of jobs available, why is unemployment here still double the national average? And youth unemployment a particular problem? I despair of the attitude of the 18 to 22 year olds. We've got a lot of young Polish people coming in with a fantastic work ethic. They'll take any unskilled work in order to better themselves. But the local youngsters appear to be far more picky. 19-year-old Gemma and 17-year-old Katrina left school without qualifications and haven't worked since. So, what do you do then? Um, claim down. You claim down? Why is that? You're young and fit. We don't so, want to go and stand in a factory for a 12-hour shift packing boxes. We want to be somewhere where we're going to get something out of our job. Have you ever thought that while you're drawing benefits, it's being paid for by the very people you're sneering at, the people who stand there all day long packing boxes. Half the jobs are taken by all the people coming over with no visas and all the immigrants and all that. That's the where Polish all the jobs are going and that's why we've got a claim done. There are the jobs there, but you say you don't want them. But they're not always there at all. Do you go down to the dole every two weeks or every week to go and check for jobs? Well, 64-year-old Maria has never had a problem finding a job. She works night shifts packing chocolate bars for £300 a week and has never claimed dole in her life. These girls say they wouldn't dream of working in a factory. Well, I don't know why. You have to have experience and... Yeah, from but you won't get anything before. unless you start somewhere. How are you supposed no, to get that. experience? If I can get a job at 64 see. years of age, surely you can get one. She pays your dole. She's a taxpayer. We only get 80 quid every two weeks as if you give us loads of money. You're getting it for doing nothing. Not so. What do you want me to say? So you don't more than that. Going to start no, pulling around with side holes in my shoes what? or something. Not start, just get a job. And it took me ten minutes to find them one. Merseyside firm Hankinson's are decorators to the Queen and have painted at Buckingham Palace. More importantly, they're looking for apprentices and the pay is excellent. You told me that if you could find a job which had real training attached, you'd definitely take it. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Right, well, I've got news for you. Got us a Depending job, I'll hit you. Right. Depending on what it is. I'll take it, it mate. I'm happy You'll take it. Yep. It's in painting and decorating. And what is more, this is what you're going to be getting. £360 every week, yeah? Oh, that's me, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I hated you before. <laughs> To be honest, I didn't expect the girls to turn up for work. But next morning, they surely did. You've got to prove to me that you're interested. Yeah, I Because am. I will. You'll be gone. And what's more, they stuck to it for several more days, turning up on time, showing enthusiasm, and learning all manner of skills. Preparation. Get your preparation right. The job's easy. Yeah. So after their week-long trial, what was the company verdict? Katrina, Gemma, you've done well this week, yeah, so we're looking at keeping you on over the summer, putting you on the payroll, what's it You've still got to keep the work up. Oh, thanks, George. You're welcome, you're welcome. Now there's at least two people who've learned the value of a decent week's work for a decent week's pay, oh, but what about the third, Mick Philpot? He was meant to start the Monday morning. Unfortunately, we got a call from a young lady to say that he, he wouldn't be attending work. Um, we've not heard from him. So much for wanting to be a working taxpayer. He thinks he's seen the last of me, but I think I'm owed an explanation. Evening, Mick. This is a turn up for a book. 
So, I hear you haven't been to work this week. No, I'm not going to work. I'm tourist not, sorted. Not going to go to work. Right. I'm tourist sorted. Okay. Ah, yes, that hand injury that suddenly became a problem when he started work. 